While walking around the 2014 SEMA show, I noticed a growing trend on almost every car displayed. Custom tire decals that seem to be taking the aftermarket world by storm. The irony is that I have been searching for these guys for the past few months. I always felt my tires needed a unique look, sort of a vintage race car feel. That's when I found the boys from Treadwear. Today we're going to chat with the creators to understand what they are, how they're made, and the step-by-step -step process to affix them to your sidewalls. That's all coming up today on this episode of Drive Clean. Treadwear was conceived in 2009 by an enterprising truck driver when he decided to glue letters on the tires of his 18-wheelers because he thought it looked cool. Years later, Michael Hunt and Lee Clayton took over the company and secured two patents for the dual compound vulcanized rubber and the industrial adhesive used to permanently secure them to your tires. But I had been doing it differently for a year or so with mixed results. All right, guys, I've been trying to figure this out for a long time, and what I've come up with is not so good, but it's something I wanted to try. So I made a stencil. I put the stencil down on the tire. I use a rattle can with white paint, right. and I'd spray it. Now, obviously, you can imagine what would go wrong. There's overspray all over the place. I'd rub it with my finger. It'd come off in two seconds. Can't clean it. You can't clean it, and then when it gets dirty, it turns brown or yellow, right. kind of gross-looking color. So. Tell me, how did you guys come up with this idea? What is it made of? Give me the whole scoop here. This is pretty cool. Well, you know, the thing, the reason that the stenciling has been the process for so long is because it's what race teams use for years. Works fine on a race car because you might use it one day, but anytime you want any kind of longevity, you got to have a different process. And and what you have to think about with this is it's not really a sticker or a decal. It's really a high tech tire patch. And when I say high tech, it even goes down to the material itself. It's not just rubber. You put rubber on the tire, it's going to do the same thing that paint did over time. It's going to yellow out? It's going to yellow. Yeah, absolutely. The chemicals in the tire are going to migrate to the surface. So what's in this that makes it not yellow? Well, it's a patented material, so you could call it pixie dust if you want to. <laughs> but yeah. as you can see, it's the back side is black. The front side is white. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, technology that goes into this dual vulcanized layering mm -hmm. that, that blocks those anti ozonates yeah. and other nasty chemicals. Right, basically what you've got in the tire is you've got at least five quarts of oil along with a bunch of other chemicals inside the tire that are constantly being squeezed mm -hmm. by the road as you're going down the road, it's squeezing, 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 forcing all of that to the surface. And so anything that you put that's on the tire is going to soak that up yeah. and it'll change the color. So that's what's turning it, yeah. Typically a nasty brown, yeah. Now tell me what you can make any designs, or what can't you do with the designs? Well, as far as the material is concerned, anything you can cut out of rubber, we can, we can make. Uh, and as you can see, the precision level, uh, we can get very fine detail uh, because, again, it's all computer controlled. Oh. So Laser cut and everything. Exactly. The main limitation is you can't do uh, things with a lot of little tiny floating pieces. Super intricate. Yeah, detail floating pieces, detail really within detail as well. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much the sky's the limit now. In terms of colors, I see a couple of them here, but what do you got? Well, of course, white, yep. we've got yellow, and we've got red, and we also have blue. You, you want that race car look for yep. the street. Uh, now, you can, now you can actually have it and not have to sit on your hands and knees with a paintbrush every, every weekend. Now, this can be done, this is a DIY Sunday morning kind Absolutely. of thing, right? You don't need Absolutely. some degree in engineering to figure this well, out. No. Not only that, you don't even have to take the tire off the vehicle to do it. You don't have to take the wheel off. You can do it right in your driveway, do it a couple hours in an afternoon. All right, so what's the big deal about letters on tires here? If you're like me, when I was a kid, I know Lee, we were we loved race cars. I mean, of course. I mean you go to the you go to the grocery store and there's a the little race car ride that goes like this right here. Yeah. Everybody wants that feeling. You get the hot wheels, you're rolling along the top of the couch and you, you get it eye level with it so you can see in there and imagine yourself driving the thing. Yeah, of course. Uh, and of course now we're we're just bigger kids with checking checking accounts. <laughs> you know, I mean some larger than others, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> there, right. But, so exactly. And we can't afford to have an actual race car, a lot of us, but uh, we still have a car that we love. And you know, when you park at the mall or at the grocery store, you're on the back 40 because you don't want to get a dent on it. Yeah. You walk 30 feet away from the car and you look back, that's my car. And I want to have that feeling again, that feeling of the kid when I'm rolling the car on top of the on top of the couch, imagine myself driving that race car. And we all know that Race cars have letters on their tires. I've always you know, experienced the same thing that you have. I, I want my car to feel like it's you know, 
a show it's winner. The detail, it's the yeah. details yeah. that matter. I mean, why do we yeah. go? Why do we go to all the trouble? It's super it? geeky. This is why I love it. It is. It is. There's it, there's not a practical reason for it. It's a it's a it's an in your gut reason. I was hooked the minute I saw them, and based on the emails I received once I posted a few Instagram pictures of my wheels, it seems everyone wanted to know the steps for installation. And I have to tell you, it is a lot easier than I thought. The key to our product working well on the tire hmm. is preparation. Surface preparation, you've got to have it down. Uh, especially if you've used a tire dressing like you have, your, obviously your ammo has uh, stuck to this really, really well. I and mean, we've done uh, several hundred installations and several of them have had some tire dressing on it, but nothing like this. You got to get that off. You cannot have that on there. Otherwise, this is going to, you know, fail. So what we have to do is get a rubber to rubber bond. And the best way to do that, is start out with a good general purpose cleaner that's a degreaser. You know, spray this on liberally. I mean, just really coat it down. Yep. You're going to rub this down, you know, and it's going to take a lot of elbow grease to cut through that. And what we've actually found that works really well is do an initial clean, then get a sander, a palm sander. What grit is this? Uh, we're using 100 grit right here. Okay. Um, it's an aggressive grit. You don't have to go that aggressive if you're a little bit concerned. Another thing, if you are concerned that you might hit your rim, go ahead and mask it off. Mask off any paint areas that you don't want to hit. You know, if you don't have a lot of practice controlling one of these things, it can get away from you quick and damage your vehicle and you don't want to do that. You just want to rough it up, get a good clean surface. Another thing that you can use is a uh, Brillo pad. Uh, again, with the degreaser and just mm -hmm. really scrub it down. After you do that, of course, you want to uh, get all the loose rubber that we just generated off of it. So uh, rubbing alcohol works well and wipe it down again. So essentially you're just removing any oils, any exactly. emulsion, anything that will prevent the you know, thing from sticking to it. It's Absolutely. pretty simple. And, and again, all the oil that's in the tire is constantly being squeezed to the surface. We want to get that off. Yeah. When we manufacture these, there's a little bit of residue that's generated. Mm -hmm. You want to hit this with a lick. I mean, you don't have to scrub it, but you want to make sure you get all of the uh, manufacturing process off of this. Sure. Next thing you want to do is you want to determine your placement. Where, where are we going to put this? So just take a look at it, you know, hugging that line right there. And that's another thing. All of these tires have got some lines on them. Just about every tire that's manufactured has a line. And I think, yeah, you're right. Let's let's just hug right up against that line right there. Mm -hmm. We may want to come slide the graphic down just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's going to look really nice. Yeah, something like that. That's cool. Exactly. Yeah, very good. All right, so now we're ready for the glue. The industrial strength adhesive is specifically made for this rubber-to-rubber -rubber application and comes in the kit. Be sure to cover the back of the letters by using the applicator to evenly spread the glue from edge to edge. And remember, the letters and tires must be dry and kept in a climate no colder than 65 degrees Fahrenheit for a minimum of one hour before they're installed. All right, just off that line. And then, once you got the graphic down, you want to just kind of rub it in out toward the outer edges. Pressing it down as you go. All right, and then we'll move on to the ammo graphic. That's so cool. It's already stuck. Oh, yeah. So we repeated the same process for the ammo letters as we did on the shield. Apply the adhesive from edge to edge and place it in the desired location. After a week or so of driving, a thin plastic cover will begin to peel off the letters. This is the initial protective coating applied during the manufacturing process and is used to preserve the letters during installation. Simply peel it off and you're good to go. Car guys are always looking to tinker and modify the look and feel of their cars. And I have to say, for all the time and effort I've spent modifying my Porsche, adding treadwear has been the most talked about change I've made yet. So does it make the car faster? No, but it certainly makes me feel pretty cool. I really love the way the letters look. It adds new character to my car. With a wide variety of colors and designs to choose from, I really think these guys are onto something. For more information, be sure to visit them at treadwearletters.com. 
As always, you can email me at Larry at AmmoNYC.com with ideas for shows you want to see. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. You caught me. I'm power washing. Uh, I'm power washing the the letters here. I wanted to see if they'd actually come off. They're not. I mean, they're they're really stuck on there. <laughs>